Good morning, friends. My name is Miss Sydney, and I am with Ida Public Library, bringing you today's virtual story time. How are you feeling today? Happy Monday at my house. The sun is shining, and I'm so excited to share a story with you. So the story that I picked, I actually found on the shelves of our library, and it looked kind of mysterious and exciting. The title of the book is called Do Not Open This Book. Hmm, but how else are we going to read it if we don't open it, right? What do you think? Should we open it up? You think so? The author's name is Adam Lerhaupt, and the illustrator who drew all these pictures is Matthew Forsythe, and they must not want us to read about something in this book. I wonder what it is. Maybe you should put this book back. You don't want to let the monkeys out. Is that the secret? There's monkeys in here? I kind of like monkeys. What about you? Should we turn the page? Okay. Oh, why did you turn the page? Didn't you see my warning? Stay on this page. You are safe here. This is a good page. I like this one. Hmm, look at all these signs, friends. I don't think that the author, Adam, wants us to turn the page. What do you think we should do? I kind of want to meet the monkeys. All right, let's turn the page. Oh no, now we've done it. Who's out? It's a monkey cat. Look at all the monkeys. They don't look so bad, do they? Oh, what are they doing? Hmm, they've got cans, a brush. Oh, they're painting trees. That's not so bad, is it friends? Oh, the author says, what a mess. Naughty monkeys. Oh, the author must not like painty messes. Hmm. It could be worse. Do not tempt fate by turning the page, please. Do you think we should stop? But then we won't know how the book ends. Hmm, maybe we should turn the page again. <gasps> monkeys and toucans? Have you seen a toucan before, friends? They're these birds with the long bills. Can you stop now? Everything used to be so good. Wait, do you hear that noise? Listen, friends, that doesn't sound like monkeys. What is that? <gasps> an alligator! Oh my goodness, we let out an alligator! This is a catastrophe. That means a really, really big mess. A bigger mess than the paints the monkeys had. This calls for extreme measures. Only you can make this right. You should set a trap. Will you help me? Okay, let's set a trap. Ah, this will surely work. It is the perfect trap. What is this a picture of? A banana? How's a banana gonna help us set a trap? Oh, yeah. Because monkeys and toucans love bananas. And here's our alligator. He wants to eat the monkeys and the toucans, right? So we can catch them all in our book using a banana as our bait. You want to help me try it? Okay. Quiet now. Don't scare them. Shh. You need to be silent so they don't run away. Do you think they like the banana? Okay. This is our big chance. When I say go, we have to close the book. Can you clap your hands closed when I say go? All right, ready, set, go! Close it! Look up high, check the ceiling, check down on the ground. Any monkeys? We got all the monkeys, friends! Excellent job! Thank you for reading that book. Was it a surprise? Yeah, I feel kind of bad I let an alligator out to chase the monkeys, huh? Should we sing a song about alligators and monkeys? I think you might know this song. I want you to start by showing me your five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to pretend these five fingers are five little monkeys. If you recognize this song and you know the words, I want you to sing it along with me. Okay, friends? Ready? Five little monkeys swinging from a tree. They're teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of the tree. We had five. 
Put one finger down. How many are left, friends? One, two, three, four. Good job. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree. They're teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of the tree. We had four. Put a finger down. How many are left? Three. Excellent job. You ready to swing your monkeys? Three little monkeys swinging from a tree. They're teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap. So monkey right out of the tree. How many are left this time? Two, very good. Two monkeys ready. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. They're teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of the tree. How many are left? One little monkey, wait to your monkey. Ready? One little monkey swinging from a tree. He's teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap! Do you know what that monkey said? Miss me, miss me, now you've got to kiss me. Mwah. <laughs> Good job, friends. That was a very silly song. I hope that you liked our story and our song about monkeys and alligators. Do you remember in our story, what did we use as the trap? I'll open the book back up to show you. I hope the monkeys don't jump out. How did we set a trap? We used a banana, right? Because toucans and monkeys love to eat bananas. You know who else loves to eat bananas? Miss Sydney, I love bananas. And so for our activity today, I am going to show you how to make a really yummy dessert called banana chocolate swirl. So come with me into my kitchen and I will show you all the things that you need to make chocolate banana swirl. All right, so welcome to Miss Sydney's kitchen. Archie's here with me today and we're gonna make our banana chocolate swirl. So this is a recipe that Miss Amanda, if you know who she is at the library, actually shared with me. What you need is five bananas that you cut into little pieces and you put them in the freezer. So touch these, Archie, are they cold? Yes. Yeah, they've been in the freezer. They're sticky and cold. Once you have your frozen bananas, you're gonna scoop them out and put them in a blender or a food processor. If you don't have any of those at your house, you can put all of your ingredients in a big Ziploc bag, like a gallon size bag, and do some of the hard work yourself. It will still turn out really yummy. So we've got our bananas inside. Then you need one cup or one small container of any kind of yogurt. We have vanilla yogurt we're gonna put in here today. You could use cinnamon, you could use plain, you could use vanilla, any flavor that's your favorite. So Archie, can you scoop out one cup? It's hard to scoop. It is hard to scoop. That was pretty good. Let me help you fill it up with a spoon. Because we want to make sure our banana swirl is nice and creamy. If you just have the small containers at home, friends, that works perfectly. If you have the big tub like us, you can just scoop out one cup. Archie, can you dump that in for me? Nice job! And I can scrape the sides for you if you want. All that good stuff out of there. Yum. So now we have the banana swirl part, but we don't have the chocolate part yet. The chocolate part is going to be one packet of hot chocolate mix. Can you dump that in there for me, sweetie? Make sure you get it all in there. So if you're using your Ziploc bag, your big gallon bag, you'll put all your ingredients in and zip it really tight and mush it with your hands, okay? Squish it up, make it as sticky and ooey gooey all together as you can. If you're using a food processor or a blender, you just put your lid on and you mix it all up until everything is smooth. It'll look maybe like a milkshake or a smoothie. So when you're all done mixing it up in your blender or your food processor, it's gonna look like a milkshake, right? Or a smoothie. So I'm gonna pour ours into a bowl. And what we like to do is put it in the freezer again for a little bit so it gets harder like ice cream. Archie, go ahead and take a bite. How does it taste? Good. Is it good? It's delicious, friends. Thanks for cooking with us. 
I hope you enjoy your chocolate banana swirl, and we'll see you next time for story time. Thanks for watching today.